What's up guys? So I want to talk about the importance of not giving up when you're in a trial or test, not letting go of God's promises, how it is very important for you to once you cling to faith, once you've prayed a prayer in faith, once you start and begin to trust God to help you in whatever area it is, to not cast away your confidence, okay? Just see it through until the end because uh, Hebrews chapter 10 says, cast not away therefore your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. For you have need of patience that after you've done the will of God, you shall receive what was promised. So don't cast away the confidence that you started off with when you first believed God. Okay, now let me just make this real quick and to the point so you understand, okay? Because if you're not in a test or trial now, if you're not in a hard place now, at some point you will be. Okay, now uh, how much you know about this will determine how long you stay there, how quick it is, and really the severity of it because it's not really a problem if you know how to fix it, right? It's just a, a setback or a temporary annoyance, okay? And that's how, like, I used to volunteer at my uh, church's bookstore and the, set, the slogan there would be, read it before you need it, okay? So you're learning it now. If, you, if you're not going through it now, you'll have the knowledge for later. So in James chapter one, we talk about patience. Now, everybody knows what faith is. Um, Hebrews one, now faith, faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. But that's like old English, okay? So... There's other translations that might be more helpful if you understand. Moffat's translation says, Now faith is um, being confident in what you hope for, convinced of what you do not see. So when you start off in confidence of what you don't see, in other words, God uh, delivering you from this problem that you're in, um, keep that confidence. Now faith is being confident in what you hope for. So if you're not confident in what you're hoping for, that's not faith. You know you're in faith because you're confident about it. And just a quick note before I get into this, faith is of the heart, not of the head. So you might have some doubts like, oh, like some doubts going through your head, like what if this doesn't happen? You may get flashes, the devil may bring uh, images across your mind of this not working out. You will still, your, sta your, your prayer will still be answered because faith is not of the heart, it's not of the head, it's of the heart. So you can have faith in your heart while doubting in your head. Does that make sense? So don't feel like you're not in faith because you're struggling with doubt. Just don't start speaking it and acting on it, okay? So believe in your heart. Jesus says, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive it and you shall have it. Okay, James chapter 1, verse 3. Knowing this, we have to know this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. So the trying of your faith, your faith is in a trial. Your faith is put to the test. Your trust and reliance upon God's word is put to the test when you're in a trial. The trying of your faith worketh patience. Okay, now when, when we think of patience, we think uh, just putting up with something. Bible patience is staying with it. Like a bulldog doesn't let his bone go. No matter what, no matter how hard you pull against it, it's not letting it go. Do that, have that same mentality with your faith. Okay, your trust and reliance in God's word. When it's tried, when your faith is tried, when it's put to the test, when it's not easy to believe, don't let go. See it through. That's what patience is. Okay, now don't cast away that patience or your confidence. Don't, don't give in. Hold to it. Okay, Hebrews chapter 6 verse 12 says, with faith and patience or stick to itiveness with bulldog not letting it go no matter what no matter how long it takes we receive the promises and it, i just wanted to make this a quick message there's more scripture i can get into but it's been about four minutes now and that's where i want to wrap it up at so i'll probably make another video in the next couple of days talking about the rest of this uh these scriptures i wanted to get to um i really want to help people with what i've learned from the bible um so i've, I've I think God maybe wants me to do this through YouTube at the moment. So if you if you like these messages, if you like this channel, hit the like button. When you hit the like button, it causes the YouTube algorithm to recommend my videos. So hit the like button. If you've been watching these and you haven't subscribed, like me, sometimes I watch people for a while and I never subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, okay? And um, let a friend know about this channel, you know, so it grows, okay? 
Uh, we'll talk to you next time.